Each day, thousands of people need the donated blood when their blood level falls for various reasons, including illness and accidents. Sometimes their blood is not functioning properly due to a lack of oxygen and other essential nutrients. Donated blood helps these people keep them in good health or allow them to stay alive. Apheresis is one of the whole blood donating processes, which provides the other blood components such as platelets. It helps those who have clotting issues and provides the antibodies to fight different diseases like COVID-19. Giving blood can be a life-saving action and also have many benefits for the donor. There are some temporary disadvantages of giving blood as well, but a person comes to normal daily activities within a few hours of donating blood. In this video, you will know about some unique advantages of giving blood along with some minor temporary reactions to donating blood. Let's firstly see the benefits of giving blood. Hi guys, welcome to Top News Age. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications from Top News Age. Today we're going to look at... What happens when you donate blood? Let's get started. Identifying adverse health effects. Every person goes through a simple physical examination and blood test before donating blood. Although these are not in-depth tests, they can still identify unknown health concerns like anema and high blood pressure. These basic tests mainly check the person's blood pressure, body temperature, heart rate, and hemoglobin level. If a person finds any issues, he will not be able to donate blood, but this can be very first step for the donor to seek medical treatment. Contributing to the community. According to the American Red Cross, when you decide to donate blood, you will save the lives of almost three people. So you're actually contributing to the community by providing vital service. Everyone wants to make a positive impact on the communities we serve. Donating blood can be the very first step to achieve it with a boosted sense of well-being. Weight management. Today, being overweight is one of the main problems for many people in their daily life. Mostly, people try different hard exercises to lose extra weight, which is the best way to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Although blood donation is not directly related to your weight loss, it can somehow help to reduce the extra weight. Whenever you decide to donate blood, first of all, the blood donation centers weigh you. It's very helpful to identify people with obesity. Usually, if the blood donation center identifying anything like this, they offer help to people to manage their weight and other related health problems. Sometimes, people also have low weight who need this kind of counseling and advice. Reduce iron levels. Iron is an essential component of the body to produce red blood cells, but some people have different types of hemochromatosis, which results in too much iron in the blood. These excess iron deposits in the different body organs, such as the liver and heart, and severely affect their function. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, a person who has hemochromatosis can be benefited from plemotomy, which is much similar to blood donation. People with this issue are allowed to donate blood, which is beneficial for the community and the donor. Although some agencies are also do not allow the blood donation of these people, so if you have any type of hemochromatosis and it's allowed to donate blood in your area with this condition, simply go and donate blood for yourself and for other man's well-being. Improve cardiovascular health. Blood donation offers many long-term and high-frequency protective effects against cardiovascular disease. Many researchers suggest that blood donation reduces your blood pressure. You'll definitely see an improvement in your blood pressure reading after donating the blood. Blood pressure checking is an, an integral part of blood donation, so you have a great chance to improve your cardiovascular health if you found an issue during blood donation process. The men who are donating blood almost have 88% fewer chances of a heart attack. Enhance mental health. You can experience a positive change in your emotional health after donating blood. It will reduce stress, enhance emotional well-being, minimize negative thoughts, and reduce the feeling of social isolation. But make sure to be aware of the age and weight restriction in your area before donating blood as your health comes first. Reduce the risk of developing cancer. There's a slim link between blood donation and cancer, but the researchers support the concept of reduced cancer risk for blood donors. Actually, the iron reduction is a medication process for the cancer patient to lower risk. So by blood donation, you can lower the excess iron level in the body, which ultimately leads you to lower cancer risk. Replenish blood. When you donate blood, your body starts the process of replenishing and replace the blood volume within 48 hours. All the red blood cells you lose during donation are completely replaced with new cells within four to eight weeks, which is a good way to enhance the body's efficiency and productivity. 
overall health. According to the 2007 data of the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, blood donors usually enjoy good overall health than other people. According to the data for each annual blood donation, the risk of dying from cancer reduces by 7.5%. There are some of the main health benefits you will get after donating blood, but as we discussed at the start, you can also face some temporary reactions after donating blood. Let's talk about some temporary reactions to donating blood. Weakness. After donating blood, you may experience physical weakness, especially in the arm where the needle was injected. This is the one reason why centers advise you to don't lift any heavy things for five to six hours after donating blood. They usually recommend drinking plenty of water and restoring the vitamins and minerals to reduce weakness and fatigue. Dizziness. You may also experience dizziness or lightweightness after donating blood due to a lower level of blood pressure. You can drink plenty of water before donating blood to minimize the chances of dizziness. Usually the nurses recommend keeping a bandage on your arm to prevent these types of issues. Faint feeling. You may feel faint after donating blood as it drops your blood pressure and heart rate. Sometimes your body reacts to these conditions and you feel faint, nauseous or lightheaded. It's not uncommon that the donor is feeling faint, even it can happen to experienced donors. If you're also feeling faint after donating blood, just lie down until you feel better. You'll see these types of symptoms disappear with time. Bleeding. You may experience bleeding from the needle point or under the skin. If you also experience any bleeding issue, leave your bandage for a minimum of four hours after donating blood. If the site is again begins to bleed, press it for two to five minutes and keep the bandage for further four hours. Minimize sports performance. Blood donation temporarily affects the iron level, cardiovascular system and respiratory system, which can reduce athletic performance. Your body needs a little bit of rest to regenerate the lost blood. You will notice a drop in performance for 24 hours to two days. Bruising. During the blood donation process, a needle is usually kept in your arm for 10 minutes, so there are some bruising chances. You may experience some bruising around the site where the needle was inserted, ranging from yellow to blue to purple. You can simply apply a cold pack to the bruised area for several minutes to get rid of it. Pain. Blood donation is not completely a pain-free process. You will experience pain when the needle is injected into your arm. Although you don't experience any pain while the blood is drawn from your body, there can be an uncomfortable sensation on the side where the needle is injected. You may also feel pain on the needle insertion site for some time after donating blood. Time consuming. Time consuming is not a big deal when you have the courage and passion for helping needy people. But still, it's a little issue for many people as it can take up to an hour and 15 minutes, which includes all the testing and paperwork process. You also need to take some rest after donating blood in case of any issue. Let us know in the comments, have you ever donated blood in your life? Hope you enjoyed our video. Please like, comment, and share it. See you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.